I was asked to make a video relating to Elaine Peddy's video uh, relating to her trip to the Philippines uh, where she encountered racism in El Nido, Palawan, allegedly. I want to make people aware that a lot of the time Filipinos don't even see it as racism um, because what have they got to engage it against? They're not in a PC society. I'll add a link below and you'll see that even Binay, the Vice President of the Philippines, who is often the ridicule of jokes for his skin colour, laughs it off as something as a right of freedom to mock people for their colour. Um, simple as that. People do not see it as being racist. They do not see it as a problem. I know um, Elena has complained about, well, they say I'm fat. They, People are just like that in the Philippines. Um, now, it is ignorance, but at the same time, Elena's also come out of the UK, and the UK is very PC. If you said some of this stuff, you could get yourself in some real hot water in the UK. Here, you know, in the Philippines, it is not even seen as an issue. You know, if you say somebody's fat, they go, well, he is fat. I'm not doing anything wrong. Do I agree with it or disagree with it? Personally, I think it all depends in context. You know, if somebody says, oh, you're getting a bit fat, I don't I don't mind people telling me, I know I'm getting a bit fat, <laughs> but I don't worry about it. But if somebody has a, you know, like she was saying, oh, you know, laughing, like, oh, there's a big flat, fat woman, that that's offensive in my view. Because um, they're doing it in a mocking way. Um, so from that point of view I'd say yeah I do have an issue with it but from the UK point of view I would say her emotions are probably more to do with the UK so PC um, to the point that you can't say anything uh, a friend of mine he's um, originally from Zimbabwe he's a um, native of Zimbabwe he's you know he's black and he was employed by the housing association in London to deal with the tenants that were black why because they would pull the racism card on a regular basis so they actually employed him because of his skin color nobody will openly admit it but that's what they told him after the interview and that's what they um, he told me directly himself that's why they employed him because the, there was too many cases of people going racism it's not that I can't get a new kitchen or a new bathroom it's because this guy is racist because he's a white surveyor etc and then they just you know would use him roll out the token guy to go in and do it and they couldn't pull the race card which made it very very difficult Although he was offered sexual favours on a regular basis in exchange for getting kitchens fixed in all sorts. Um, not that he ever took any up. He just told me about the stuff that people were asking him and wanting to exchange for various things. So I would say I think she hit the raw, a raw location um, because other, other countries are the same. I mean, some of the guys I worked with in the UK before, um, they would say things, they're, they're from Pakistan originally, they would say gora pokora, which is like white meat in reference to white people. Um, but the whole point with that is they don't mean it in a bad way. They're just like, it's just for them, it's just joking around. And I think this is the thing, the cultures have clashed because the, there is no... PC in the UK, in the Philippines, so a lot of it is not supposed to be offensive, but people laughing and giggling, giggling like children going, there's a big fat black woman, whatever, it's because the mentality is often like children, it's not being offensive, it is offensive, that's the difference, it still is offensive, but they're not trying to be offensive, it's just the way they are. Um, I would say people that have travelled outside the Philippines, etc., are a lot more aware of the differences of being offensive. 
But I would say other cultures are the same. Um, it's all to do with education. It's all to do with um, maturity, etc., etc. But also, I think the fact that she come from the UK, she come from a very PC place to a place that has pretty much zero PC in any form. Um, it's just not seen there. It, people don't recognise it. They don't see that. What do I have to be PC about? What is PC? Nobody even discusses it. The N words used quite regular. I mean, you got the the original native Filipinos were a lot darker, um, and it's their tribes are slowly being wiped out. And they even making that statement like that in the UK could be said. That's a bit, you know, that's a bit risky saying that. that but it's true because it's actually discussed in the Philippines about some of these remote tribes which are more of a darker skin etc are slowly being phased out over time because the world is catching up with them um, so the the traditional original um, Filipino of the original islands for example is slowly vanishing you know but that's part of evolution um, but like I said, even saying that in the UK, you'd have to be very technical on how you say it and very tiptoey to make sure you don't say it in a way that offends somebody somewhere. Or even worse, the PC Brigade. The PC Brigade often aren't offended by anything. They just think somebody may be offended somewhere. Um, but I do feel sorry for having a holiday ruined by some people that obviously are about as sensitive as napalm um, but we live and learn rather than uh, my personal view is rather than take it in as um, somebody being offensive to me I do it the other way I sit there and think what an idiot just deflect it don't worry about it um, because there's no physical harm or anything and you can always make some note about them anyway. You can always reflect it that way if you had to. You know, somebody going, oh, fat, fat, you need to pay for two for a tricycle or whatever. It's like, nah, I'll walk. <laughs> I'll get a taxi then. Because you'll get them running after you wanting you to pay anyway. You just go, no, I can get stuffed. I don't want it. I'd rather walk. Anyway, thanks for watching. Put your comments anyway. I can see this is going to rattle on now because now I've started something. <laughs> Thanks for watching.